Hey guys, so I'm here at Disney's Riviera Resort. So I'm assuming it's themed after the French Riviera. As I was walking up, they were playing one of the songs from Ratatouille. So I was like, oh, okay, I get it. This hotel is gorgeous. It's a Disney Vacation Club hotel, meaning you're gonna pay an arm, a leg, your teeth, a kidney, a nose, some toes, elbows, <laughs> to stay here. Camera's dying, of course. Uh, and it's new, it opened in December 2019, so it's the newest Disney hotel to open. I could only dream to ever stay here. This is fantastic. Switching to the phone now. So yeah, this place is absolutely gorgeous. They have some swings here in the, I don't know what area this, this is, but I would call it like a courtyard where they have the lake, have the pools up back. So this was not on my itinerary at all. I didn't really make a stiff itinerary to begin with which is pretty cool because of situations like this i could have the flexibility to come and explore resorts so this is this is just gorgeous they have these like terraces if you can see like on the on the stories even like right over there is kind of like by the lobby you know this is really 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 nice they also have a bar here bar riva which i hear is really good i would like to get a drink i don't know if i will though i have plans i have places to go things to do things to eat i'll, I'll kind of pop in i'll see what's going on maybe i will Time is now 7.18 in the evening. I'm waiting for my Uber because I'm going to somewhere else, um, but I'm still at the Riviera. I just stopped into the boutique here. There are a couple of things that I wanted to show you. They sell Disney face masks for $6 each. And there was something else that I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, these. Look at how cute these palm balls are. These were very popular, not even too long ago, but I love these so much. Oh, if I see them in Magic Kingdom, know that I'm getting one. And then look, this hotel even has their own ears. Look at that. Very, very cute. Look at these shirts. C'est la vie. And it has Mickey and Minnie. And la vita est belle. Super, super adorable. Oh my gosh, and look. Because it's like a French themed hotel, they have Cinderella feeding the animals. I absolutely love this hotel. Hopefully, one day, one day, I get to stay here. Sure, yes. <laughs> If you can see where it says McDonald's Motel 6. I'm staying at Motel 6. Right across the street is one of my favorite fast food places. Checkers! I know when you go to, like when you go on vacation, you should be eating food that you can't normally get, but I actually can't get checkers by me. So this sort of counts. Oh my gosh, guys, I am finally back in this motel. I think it's like about 9.30 at night. And I'm just, I'm so happy to be back here. I, I don't know. Today was such a sandwich of a day. It was like, it started off kind of crappy because the Uber driver was like rude to the Disney employees when we were like going into the park, like when he was dropping me off. So I was like, that's a, just a kind of weird vibe. And then... I had to wait in line for Flight of Passage. It was like, it was just a lot of waiting today. A lot of, lot of walking. So my feet hurt. And then um, these two people, these people in line of Flight of Passage kept trying to, I'm sorry for the lighting. I know it's super weird. Um, 
they kept trying to steal my spot in line twice. I was like, dudes, I'm in front of you, hello. And they were just like not abiding by the, uh, they were not following the the social distancing markers. Like it was just, it was just a weird day for that. Um, the rest of the Animal Kingdom Park day was great. And then my phone charger, the fuel rod, like I, I actually forgot you can swap it throughout the stations they have available, but like my phone basically died. I had to go to Universal to get these donuts. Very expensive to get to Universal Resort, at least for me today. It's like 50 bucks, including tip for these donuts, so they better be worth it. Oh, hey y'all, Future Lenise here. Uh, I just wanted to quickly come on here because I am editing this Rivera, Riviera vlog and what I was trying to say, which got cut off, is, um, yeah, my, my phone died, my, I think, fuel rod charger died too, like, I, I literally had no access to, like, charging my phone or anything like that. So when I went to Universal Orlando, uh, or I should say, when I went to CityWalk, <laughs> I came across a fuel rod station. It didn't click in my mind that Universal also had these fuel rod stations, but I came across one, and I'm used to not paying to swap out fuel rods um, all throughout the Disney area. I think one time they switched it to, yeah, it costs $1 to switch it out, but that was for very, like a very short amount of time. But usually it costs nothing to switch out the fuel rod. You initially pay $30 for the charger and then you can swap it out on any fuel, rods, uh, fuel rod station for free. But I came across the station in Universal City Walk and it cost $3. And I, I know that's like, it sounds like so, you know, cheap and like minuscule or whatever, but like that day, like was just not going my way, like at all. Like, and obviously that's going to happen on vacation, but like in the moment, like me paying all this money, especially like going from the Disney World area to Universal, I think I had said it cost like uh, $25 one way with Uber and then I was trying to come back and Uber was trying to uh, charge me $50 for one way from Universal back to the Disney World area but yeah it, it was just ridiculous so I was paying all this money and then I come across it a fuel rod station and you want to pay me you want to charge me $3 when I normally don't pay anything to swap out the battery so yeah that's all I want to say um thanks for watching and let's get back to the vlog and the only thing that was like, I had a great Uber driver back or a Lyft driver. Uber was going to charge me $50 to go to, Uni um, to go back to the motel from Universal and Lyft charged me 25. So, but I got the donuts. I got checkers. I am first going to try the donuts. I know you should have dinner before dessert, but I just want to try these because I have been looking forward to these for the longest time. I'm going to take a bite of each. I got the the loop donuts and I also got the ODB and they um they didn't package it really nicely because I only got two so I didn't get like a box or anything so this is the loop and it's basically a plain donut with vanilla frosting and uh fruity loops so I'm excited for that I'm just gonna place it kind of over here I don't even really care tonight anymore I'm so over this night and then I also have the ODB. So I think this is just like or uh, chocolate frosting, Oreo cookie pieces, and peanut butter. So I know they look a hot mess right now, but I'm just gonna try it for you. That's a good donut. Mmm. 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 That is a good donut. These are great. Today may have set me back financially. But those donuts were absolutely worth the Uber trips back and forth. Those are really, really good. Um, now, I'm going to try my checker sandwich for you guys. So I got the Mother Cruncher. So it's a crispy chicken sandwich. It comes with, it depends on which one you get. I got the barbecue bacon one. So mine comes with bacon. It comes with lettuce, tomato. Actually, I don't think there's tomato, but there's like usually lettuce, pickle tomato I asked him to take those off because I'm such a picky eater um and I think mine comes with crispy onion straws and I asked him to put cheese on it too mm -hmm. so good so worth it
I also got lemon pepper boneless wings. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not over exaggerating, you guys. Like, all of this is really, really good. All of this is worth the back and forth, the money, the walking. This is all amazing, and I love their fries. Mmm. Coca Cola. I'm telling you, just like tasty food, the comfort of like just like a really decent space, and some good TV definitely changes your mood around. Because, like, I had a good day at Magic K or um, Animal Kingdom, no doubt about it. It's just some of these things are putting me in such a grumpy mood, but like this is my jam and they have good movies on tonight they've got toy story 3 running they've got um infinity war they've got uh jumanji welcome to the jungle they have like really good movies playing and they're about to play friends again because they've been doing a friends marathon since i got here from like episode one till i think we're in season like two three now which is about to be a great night so i'm gonna leave you guys here so I think this video was with the Riv Riviera Resort, which was such an awesome time. Highly recommend just visiting that hotel. Like, it's gorgeous. You can get a drink at Bar Riva. I had an amazing time. I felt so relaxed there. Like, that was absolutely needed. Well worth the visit. And then Universal um, City Walk, I just hopped in and out. I didn't want to spend too much time there. My phone was dying. I was in a bad mood. So I just got my donuts and I left. But um, all in all, I will say it was a good day. It was just my mood, you know. But I would rather have a day like this than like a boring day not doing anything at all or working. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, how do you like to spend your day outside of the parks? Sorry for the lighting, I really am. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. I promise you my videos are not always like this now all the time. But thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow at Magic Kingdom! My last full day at this Magic Kingdom. Weird, but I know it's going to be worth it. So stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!